Hello friends, the short film Termite Samurai is out and today I'm going to talk about my workflow regarding compositing and lighting, specifically about this shot from the film. I chose this shot because it's very simple to follow and the techniques used were used throughout the film. You can download the actual After Effects file used for the tutorial, but I must warn you that it's over 700 megabytes in size and it's not necessary to have it to follow the tutorial. Now this shot is rendered in 3D Studio Max. The way I work is I treat the file as if it was a live action shoot. So I create the background once and place the camera where I need it to be across multiple frames. The only lighting that was used is from a high dynamic range image placed in the background. The character is textured with a subsurface scattering texture and rendered with Arnold. This gives the character a slight translucency to mimic the skin of an insect. Now, if I render the image as is, this is what I get, but this is what it looks like in the movie. So let's go into After Effects to see how it's done. Now here it is in After Effects. Now if you download the files and you get an error message in one of the layers, it's because I use a plugin called Optical Flares from Video Copilot. I created another comp that uses the regular lens flare from After Effects so you can follow along. Now you want to make sure the project is set to 16 bits per channel and every animated file was rendered as a PNG at 24 frames per second at 1828 by 778. And if you look at the project window, I have the main elements rendered separately. One as a diffuse pass and another as an ambient occlusion pass. Now let's go to the timeline. The first layer is the cloud layer. This was downloaded from Pixabay. And if you click on the effects, I added a levels effect to bring up the contrast. I also added a slight movement to the clouds to simulate them moving through the sky. The next layer is the lens flare layer. This is to simulate the sun rising from behind the character. And this was done with optical flares from Video Copilot. Next up is the grass background. This was a single file that was rendered in 4K to allow for recompositing later and I added a CC light sweep effect to give it a backlight. I then add the grass background ambient occlusion pass to give it more depth and change the layer from normal to multiply mode. Now this is the main termite pass. This is the diffuse render and sometimes when they render out an image you get a thin white outline from the alpha mat. To fix this I add a simple choker effect. Then I add a light sweep effect to simulate a backlight coming from where the sunlight would be hitting the character. Then I add the ambient occlusion pass on top of it to add more definition to the character and change the layer from normal to multiply. I also add a simple choker to hide the white outline and a levels adjustment to make it brighter. Now I feel the sky is too yellow, so I add an adjustment layer with hue and saturation effects set to colorize blue. I add a mask and feather it to help bring out the sky. Finally, I place the foreground characters in the layer. I add a simple choker as well, and also add a camera lens blur to help give the image more depth. Last but not least is the ambient occlusion pass, also set to multiply. I add a levels effect to make the ambient occlusion brighter and a camera lens blur to match the diffuse pass. And now here's the final image in the movie. And that's it. This is the basic techniques that I use to light and composite the entire Termite Samurai film. Once again, you can download the file for yourself and see how the project was created. If you like this content, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.